Well, hello there, Shelly Rocks. I've got a pretty exciting game to play today. This is the amazing Cultivation Simulator. Now, this is a game that I read the review of it and it said it's like RimWorld but with Chinese um, fantasy and culture <laughs> as the background. I thought, how could that not be good? So, this looks really um, complicated. But also fun. But then again, RimWorld was also the same. But this has got the whole backdrop of this whole Chinese mythology. So, gonna gonna do the tutorial and show you a little bit of the game. The tutorial isn't. Um, it's it's more of like a prologue to the game of what's going on. It's not really a this is how you build, this is how you cook sort of thing. But we'll we'll dive in it and show you because it's pretty nice looking. So we're gonna dive into this and have a little look see. Okay, so prologue. Um, this is the prologue one. There's all the different uh, sections there, what you can do. So I think I'll just show you the prologue to show you the basics of what's going on. Not that it makes much sense. You'll see what you'll see what I mean. Here we go. Tai sect, Mount Full Moon. The year is coming to an end, and the set leader has retreated into a complete state. That's the leader there in the middle there. I think he's like meditating or. Like it said, he's trying to do this full state. But we're this like massive, absolutely massive village. Now, as this is all the in-game stuff, I imagine that we're going to be able to make all this stuff later on. So look, we've got like water lilies over there. We've got like a little, a little farm. And what else is going on? The eating area. So it's laid, it's laid out a little bit like Rimworld. Another little cultivation area. Here now, he even found a piece of Lumina Core. Ooh, Lumina Core. So jealous. Yeah, I wish I knew what kind of girl he favors. By the way, if this sect leader successfully reaches the Golden State, so what's Force that state, then? Golden our State. Will gain much fame. Our sect leader is well experienced, so I'm sure it'll be fine. Look, what's going on with her? She looked really upset during dinner. Did I do something wrong? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that it's not because of you. You can find most character info on the character. Now here we go. So this is this is a bit like what it's what it's like in Rimworld, all the character stats. Of a character as it displays his or her emotions and needs. So we can click on this character now and see the information about them. Click on this and then basic stats and then this one. So there you go. There's all the attributes there. Look at all this. Slept on the ground, minus. Eating uncooked food, minus 15. Incredible landscape. And that's the mood bar at the top there. So, I don't know what the cut the cutoff bar bit is there, though. That looks like low mood. There's a cutoff bar there, and another bar there. Anyway, we can come out of that now. Stop worrying. Only us women can understand what another woman is thinking. If you want to... Oh. What? Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, danger, Will Robinson. There we go. We're being so these look like they're attacking with kites, look, spreading fire. Look at this. How cool is this? Oh, are they? Because look, that's a bow. Oh, wow. Use the keyboard or middle mouse button to adjust the Okay. We can zoom in and out. Right. So here we go. So look at this. We can see what's going on. Look at this. Oh, nice. In the core shaping suit. But our sect is being invaded, and I have to risk a breakthrough to turn the tide. As I am a practitioner of the Six Paths Reincarnation Law, my breakthrough requires an environment with water. Okay, so he needs water he to do his, uh, ice crystal cauldron his ability. Okay. I'm still just an outer disciple. I won't be able to endure the cold near the ice crystal mine. Take this talisman of supreme young. It will make you impervious. Okay, so it looks like we've got like um, artifacts we can use. So this is the talisman of supreme yang. So as with Rimworld, like it says here, you can't control the characters directly. You have to do orders and then they'll go and do it. So if we click on him. 
Equip. And equip the Yang. There we go. Right, so we're gonna skip through this. So we wanna we wanna get resources from over here. So we we do a generic thing for mine, not on a character, and then click on that. Okay, he's gonna go and mine this. He has the Supreme Yang Talisman, so he can survive this mining this. Right, and then we can speed up here now. There we go. I'm just skipping through this tutorial a little bit, just to try and get this done. Okay, so now we want to mine in here. This is a smelter. So we click on that. Produce ice crystal bar. So it's a metal bar made by casting smelted ice crystal. Let's get this made. Good. Now, build an ice crystal cauldron. Right, this is where it starts getting complicated. A building's attribute depends on the main material used in the construction. Okay, so it's saying there, for example, a structure made from ice crystal bars will increase the surrounding water attribute. The five elements are an important and there's five elements in the game. The interactions between the elements affect the entire world. Breakthrough, feng shui, artifact crafting, etc. Okay. So what are the five, five elements? Fire, water. No, it would be like fire, ice, earth, wind. So fire elements, fire, water, a wood. So I reckon that's going to be like the classic, um, like it says here. So fire is weak against water. Water is strong against fire. Fire is strong against wood. And wood fuels fire. Hmm, that's going to take a while to learn. Metal cuts wood, yeah. And water nourishes. Wow, that's going to be so complicated to learn. We're going to have to learn that tra that that diagram, I reckon. I reckon that's going to be it. Okay, We're going to achieve our our little state now. So we need to build this uh, ice cauldron. So this is it can affect five elements. We just need to build this. So we'll stick it down. Okay, now here's the here's the core work schedule. Priorities listed from left to right. A task with a low priority will only be done if there's no other tasks that are going to be done. So I think this is high priority when we stick it in this like that. There we go. Oh, here we go. So he's going to ascend to this next state. And this is our defense building here now. This is a sword shield, I think he's I think he said it was called. Oh, here we go, look at them, look at them go! That's so cool. So they're all gonna shoot out there. He's attaining this supreme state. Oh he's he's attained it, I think. How dare you attack us while I am in Oh he's he's reached a golden core state, he's he's going. He's mad. Taste my celestial sword. Oh <laughs> get wrecked, son. Chase down our enemies, spur no one. Oh. Congratulations on finishing the So that's the end of that tutorial. So that's that shows you a little bit of, a, of, a, of a, an idea of what you're supposed to do in the game. That's just um an introduction to like work tabs, how to build stuff. Now there is a ma there's loads of tutorials on here. So there's basics, cultivation development advanced so these are all i think these are all things we can actually do um i'm not gonna do them all let's just do say what should i do that, that's how, i reckon a lot of these i can just learn myself because it's just going to be a tree it's going to be you click harvest you click on the tree um i'll tell you what if you want to see me do more of the tutorials, if you don't think that's going to be too too like boring, uh, let me know and I'll go through them. So we're, what we're going to do, we're just going to dive into the game. So let's start in. So we've got Classic or Land of Illusion. So that's going to be like sandbox mode. We can just unlimited resources, build what we want. We're going to go into Classic. I'm going to start my journey towards immortality. But 
What do you think of it so far? I think it's cool. I like the music and the graphics. Really good. So, we're going to dive into this. So, what do we want on here? So, we've got size. We've got map size. We can click a mortal. And what's that doing? Oh, right. So, mortal is boosting everything up to the max stats. So what does it say on that? Immortal presents the ultimate experience. The difficulty cannot be adjusted. You have only one save slot. Your game auto saves. Some tips will be hidden. Immortal tests your understanding of the game. Okay, so that's going to be something I need to do after about three years. Um, I'm going to leave everything else just on default. Let's just leave it on default and let's go. Okay, so the night almost entirely was massacred, only a handful escaped. So this is a bit like RimWorld in the fact that it's you're starting off with a small amount of people. Oh, this looks cool. Um, let's see. Right, so I'm going to choose my character and stuff here, I guess. I can do a randomised race as well. So what's the difference between the three different trees here? <laughs> the, these, the the UE for this is really good. I really like the cool the colours and stuff. Um, I, I I literally don't know what to choose in this. It looks like these have all got different characters. But if we're if we if we're gonna have different people, let's just do this. Generator can so we can just do random here. Lots so human female. I can choose. Oh look at look at. Let me see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm selecting these. Doesn't seem to change anything now. Is that because I need to do it on this? What if we do panda? Oh yeah. So you can be a panda. Rabbit. <laughs> a chicken. Oh, that's not that's not a, that's not a funny chicken. That's like a battle chicken. Be a wolf. What else is there? Snake. Sneaky. Uh, we can be a bear. I don't know which one. Which one's grabbing me? Turtle. Oh, I do like turtles. We can be a frog. Cat. Our oh, cat looks pretty cool. Bull. Tiger. Now, if I keep doing random, I oh, look at this. It's just doing all random tigers. Oh, so these are uh, high in perception, constitution. What does it do? So constitution is the strength of a character's body, affects a character's lifespan, um, cold and heat resistance, and efficiency when it comes to labour. We've got perception, which is an ability to explore and gather intelligence from the outside world, affects, affects a character's field of vision. We've got potential, which is related to the age and background. Once a character becomes an inner disciple, this will be locked and cannot be changed forever. <laughs> Uh, we've got look, the extent to which a character is favoured by heaven. We've got intelligence, a character ability to think, affects the speed of learning. And we've got charisma, which is gain favour from others, affects a character's social. So, I think, no matter what we choose, it's going to be a different different thing. It depends on what we want to go for. So, I, I imagine, yeah, humans are pretty much middle of the road at everything. Let's have a little look. Um, so that's the chicken. So chicken has got <laughs> high intelligence. Oh, I've got. I've got to choose this. I, it doesn't matter what else I can choose. I've got to choose this. Let's do a chicken character. So how do I choose? Can I choose my name? I don't. Think, oh yeah, here we go. Can I edit my name? Uh, uh, I can't fit my full name in properly, so let's call myself Shirley and Rocks. Let's see. Right. Let's start a game. Okay, that took me a lot longer than excited. Who thought having a chicken like that would be so exciting? Okay, choose law. One of the true elements is the law of the sect, as the shape of the Grand Chariot can show people's... Oh, this is going to be so much to learn about Chinese culture. It's cool. Um, at the start, the, car the Grand Chariot can show people's deaths... Contemplating over it will bring advance in the law. So I can in inspect the inspiration tree. So is this like a research tree? Golden core. 
Um, I don't think I can choose anything to start. Right. Okay. It looks like we're in. So, this is the world map. Mysterious Immortal. For several days you hid during the day and travelled at night, finally arriving at a secluded ravine. As you were about to relax, a light of teleportation suddenly struck, showing the contour of a cultivator. Oh, well, here we go. The sect leader I go way back. I caught wind of the troubles and came as soon as I could. It was too late. Thankfully, the gods are kind and have not allowed this to be the end of the sect. Finally, I found you. Do not worry. I shall stay in isolation for a while and protect you all. If you ever encounter difficulty, don't be shy. Ask away. So, when I saw this game, there's sort of an cultivator for. Oh, it's just like farming simulator. <laughs> it's not at all. Is it like a, um, a cultural or religious term? Because he's kind of... He's doing all this, look. At getting to a certain level. Okay, so I've got like... There's my character, look. There's the chicken. I've got Zong Cheng as well. And also Ali An. Anyway, so what options have I got? I've got Chop. Players can give commands to collect resources using the commands at this the This is what bottom. we want to do. Click a resource once to command a target to collect it. Right. Drag over an area to command the target to collect so let's the get some wood. in that area. Hopefully someone's going to go and get wood. Shirley Rocks is. Nice. Now, what else can we uh, grab? What's this? A little rock. We can't mine just yet. We can explore. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just a big flying dragon. Uh, yeah. Is that, is that, should I be worried about that? Right, we've got to explore. Let's try and explore a bit of this. So, if we try and explore there. I think we've tagged that for exploring all these areas. There we go. And we're still chopping the wood down there. I think that's all explored now. I think it's, I must need to click on him and do something now. I don't know why it's just... It's got the hovering thing above him. Because the others aren't really doing anything at the moment. Can we... Let's see. Cancel orders in the selected area. I think we've got quite a bit of uh, wooden stuff now. So if we cancel that... Can we get wood? No. Let's explore all around. So if we tag that all around us, is that going to explore all the areas? Looks like it is. Look, I've got two exploring. There we go. Ooh, look at all these here. Ice, ice crystal veins. We've got cinnabar rock, brown rock. Oh, God, that's a tiger. Right, I think that's everywhere explored now. Okay, so how do we build then? So we've got all this stuff here. Talisman paper. We've got herbs, spirit stone. We've got, we have got timber and food and stuff. I think we need, to, we need to figure out how to start building. Let's building start. Okay, here we go. Maybe I should have done the tutorial. From this menu, build order can also be given. As you progress in the game, more options will become Right, so this looks like the initial starting thing. This is like a campfire. R to rotate. So let's just stick that in the middle of the base. Wow, the speed. Look at you, look at you go. You have built up nice. So we've got a campfire going. Open the structure's production schedule to schedule production orders. You can set items in the production queue to Right, so we've just got to build loads of things now. Now, can we press B to build? Yes, we can. Right, so we've got all sorts to build. Uh, source of water. Um, I guess we just need to um, place that. What else do we need? Stove. I can't make that. I need a bar. Workstation to process wood into timber. Yeah, I think we're going to need one of them. 
So I'm going to put that over there in the trees. And then we've got a worked polished stone state. Oh, yes. We'll, we'll build that over there near the, near the stone. Okay, so we've got a few little buildings on the go now. Right, so we've got the wood timber thing over there. We've got the well there. Right, are we... Right. I think we need timber to make that. Maybe I need a little bit more wood. Um, what are these ones here? Material workplace and a workplace. Just an area in the ground to make simple tools. Right, let's, let's try and make one of them then. Because we don't seem to be making these yet. I think we still need timber for that. But I don't know how to make the timber without having... Because we've got wood. But I don't think wood's the same as timber. Right, so what's this here? So we've got a workplace here. How do I craft stuff? So I can make bow, timber axe, pickaxe. I think we've already got... We've already got a thing, haven't we? We've already got... Um, some timber. Clear an area. Mine. See, I can, I can start mining stuff now. So we are getting some resources. Oh, Shirley Rocks needs a mining tool. <laughs> Just punching the rocks. Yeah, let's 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 not let's not keep doing that. So we have got an axe for doing the wood here. I'm interested to know how I can get timber though. I mean, should I should I be building the um, timber station first before I build anything else? Maybe. I want to cancel building this. I don't think I should have. I don't think I should have built it yet. You are issuing an order for batch tasks. Okay. Many orders, for example, place. I think all, I'm pretty sure I've messed this up. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to speed this to the morning. I'm pretty sure I should have built that first, and not this. Because I can't see any way of making timber. I've got to wait till the morning. Come on, someone knock this down. <laughs> right, let's look at the um where was the um the wheel? Well the information thing when we clicked on it and it showed me all the, the things I could do. The character menu displays the character's condition. For example, right, it was the the work thing we were looking the at. Character menu's interact button to so that was the mood thing. The character you have opened the mood menu. From okay, here, that's the mood you menu. The Where's the work tab? Emotions, which indicate their needs. Please pay careful attention to the character's moods and satisfy their needs to ensure that I can't remember where the work tasks. tab is. Outer disciples' tasks can be arranged in the work menu. Okay. In the work High menu, to low. The priority of tasks descends from left to right, but players can select a character and give a task special priority. Inner disciples' behavior is not restricted. Uh, okay, by the so that's given the attribute to them, isn't it? Um, so let's do a few of them as builders so that they can hopefully help out with this. Now, interestingly enough, it looks like it's got the. Uh, so that's B, that's a shortcut for that. Interesting enough, there's, there's certain skills in this look like. So Ian is skilled in tailoring and smithing. Smithing, smithing. They're doing something, no foundation. What is that? I really need to get rid of this. So let's 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 tag that. After selecting item, the interact button can be used in the top part of the item menu to give commands accordingly. I want to I want to transform this wood into into some form of stuff. Maybe I need to do a um, like a work area. We've not we've not done these material workplace areas yet. 
So what does it say on this one? Just an area on the ground to process materials. So let's do a little area here where I'm storing stuff. And we've already did, we've already done the workplace area, haven't we? So we don't need that. Right, are you building that? What are you doing? Are you just... I don't understand what you're actually doing. Right, so we've got the... What can we do at the bonfire? We can't do anything at the bonfire, really. No, cooking food. Right, this... The, the thing we need to build is this. Timber station. Outputs timber. I just don't understand why we can't build this. Right, I think I think I've completely messed this up. Let's 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 do it again. <laughs> I can't believe I messed that up so much. Okay, we're gonna start again. I'm gonna try and build that as my first item. We'll try a little bit different. Okay, we're just gonna start off random. I'm now at a snake person by the look of it. Okay, here we go. So we did start off with a little bit of timber at the start, if you notice. Look, 10 timber. So maybe when I started off, I should have built the, uh, the timber. Right, so that's you saying, hi guys, I'm just here doing this. Right, we're going to build that there. Okay. And now we're going to try and build this timber station straight away. So this needs four timber. Let's see if this works. Oh, oh yeah, look, it worked this time. Okay, so now if we do chop down there. Oh, you need a tool. Let's do let's do a tool on here. So Oh, that's a material workplace. No, no, that's not what we want to. We want the workplace. Let's do a workplace there. Click on that. And let's produce... Um, timber axe. We've not got any stone, have we? Eventually we'll be able to do that. I don't know why you're chopping that tree down. <laughs> Surely there's no, one, there's no one else got an axe. Let's go to the uh, work tab and see. Um, I mean, I could have a few of you doing it. Maybe I should have a few of you doing it. Right, anyway. We should be able to produce stuff with this now. So we should be able to produce timber. So I'll start making timber. There we go. Finally making timber. Oh, we've got a wooden axe. Cool. That's perfect. Right, so... I want to make a few of these then. Let's make at least um, three. And make some pickaxes. I'm going to make three of everything. That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's... Um, chop down a few more trees. Okay. Let's leave them to do the stuff now. Probably need to do a few more like building a material work areas. So let's do material in these areas here. Right. We're going to need more wood as well. Let's get this wood all chopped in the area. Okay, so we've got an axe now, so that's much better. Right, thing I want to get next, I want to get a... Um, what do I want to build next? I want to get like a well, maybe. Now, we're st we need a bar for that, not an inventory. So we need to start doing processing stuff. Ooh, yeah, there's lots of stuff here. Um... Handcraft station. 
So we need to figure out how to do this bar. Um, we've not built any um, of the axes yet, have we? Well, let's let's see if we can get someone to do a little bit of mining. And I know it's bad that they're punching this, but I do need to make a pickaxe, which is I don't know what the requirements are for that. Doesn't really tell me. Now, why are we not... So, we've chopped all that wood down there. Ooh, fruit. Okay. Uh, maybe I should make a little bit more timber. Timber's going to be something we'll probably need a lot of. So, let's get you making all of that. <laughs> They're so fast, though. Okay, so it was it was the timber we were short of. Look, so now we're making a wooden pickaxe. Perfect. I think we're going to need a lot of this timber, aren't we? Let's just make a heroic amount. There we go. You keep making that. I'm going to keep mining this. I think we're going to need a lot of stone. Interesting enough, that dragon didn't appear this time around. So how do we get a um, bit of cultivation and that going under? I don't think we need... Let's see if we can build the well. I don't know if we need um, a metal bar for this. Let's have a little look. Can we build this? I'm sure it's any timber. Raw material timber. Oh, it is. So we didn't we didn't need that, right? We've got a handcraft station then. Yes, I'm getting one of them built. Uh, we can make stone blocks as well in this other one. So yes, we'll have one of them as well. Cool. We've actually got stuff built, being built now. Right. So we've finally built this thing, which is the handcraft station. So now we should be able to build loads of stuff. Look all the stuff we can build here now. Wow. Farming tools. We can build axes. Lo look at all this stuff here. Leftover building material. We're brown off. Oh, this, this looks so complicated. Anyway, before I totally confuse myself and lose the plot, I'm going to go, and that's it for now. So if you would like to see some more of this, let me know in the comments. I'm just going to save this. My amazing name there. Yeah, so it, do, it does look like it's going to be utterly complicated. So if you want me to go through tutorials, let me know. Or if you just want to see me playing this, let me know. This is Amazing Cultivation Simulator First Look. What do you reckon? Do you reckon it's like RimWorld or not? Anyway, if you've watched this and you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop me a sub so you know when I've got new content out. And also leave me any comments or queries. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.